Are you looking for dynamic product pricing on your e-commerce site? This functionality is hot if you are selling any kind of appliance or if you have multiple local locations and you want to be able to change the price of your product based on where your user is coming from. A few ways to do this, you can add a zip code search on the product pages and the cart with proximity, or we have technology that actually identifies the location from your clients or users' IP addresses. So when your users are on your website, they can enter their zip code, or we can automatically identify their location by IP and show them a specific price. This works great if there's any kind of compliance on your products for map pricing, and it works great if you sell in different markets, it could be international or intercontinental, and you want to display different prices or even different currencies. Now we can complicate it and offer pickup shipping based on their location as well. You'll see Home Depot, Lowe's, Walmart have these kinds of functionalities, but you don't have to be a billion dollar company to get this functionality. Watch the rest of this video to see how we implement this dynamic pricing functionality. This week, we will talk about dynamic product pages with dynamic pricing. So what does that mean? That basically means that you're selling a customized product. One example would be if you're selling flooring material or if you're selling cabinets and you would like to have a dynamic customized product page and you want to give your users a pricing as well as a checkout option based on what they select. However, the pricing dynamically changes based on what they select. So Joe, we've done some projects like this. We've done uh, flooring companies uh, that do different types of flooring for your home as well as your pool area with pavers. We've done a logistics company that does boxes, customized boxes. Why do we get or why are we getting more requests for these types of functionalities now, you think? So the reason is because more and more people are now shopping online. Uh, before, these companies never really sold online. They were used to putting together a custom quote uh, based on the, the customer's needs. But now how do you get that customizable feature that you would typically do by hand manually for that quote now on your e-commerce store so that a customer can come to your site, select their options, have the prices change dynamically based on the options of that product, and then proceed to checkout. So that's the reason why we're getting more and more of these requests. It's because there's just more and more shoppers online. Yeah, and it's getting a little crazy because um, I did five quotes this week and all of them were in this manner. Similar, they have a customizable product. One was a gentleman that does hurricane shatter, shutters down here in Florida. Another gentleman was another flooring company in Texas. Uh, another gentleman was... Um, a company that deals with uh, kitchen cabinets. Yep. And really, I mean, the, the options are, uh, are unlimited here. So as Joe stated, uh, more and more businesses are going online with these types of purchasing options because uh, the consumers, the, the users, their customers are requesting this, are demanding this. Now, Joe, there are some challenges, of course. There are 100 different e-commerce platforms to choose from. Uh, I mean, from our standpoint, it's easy for us to do this on a big camera, Shopify, Volusion, 3D card, Miva, but it might turn into a nightmare when we're dealing with a Magento or Enterprise. So how do we guide people if they come to us and let's say they are on an ancient X card or OS commerce or Yahoo stores, uh, e-commerce system? How can we, do we just say, hey, yeah, we can do it? Or do we actually guide them in the right direction in terms of, my question is this, the direct question is, how often do you tell people, hey, we can do this functionality, but it's not a good idea, you should migrate your platform? All the time. Um, at, at the end of the day, you know, we're not just gonna build functionality on their existing platform knowing that it's not scalable. We are consultants at the end of the day, and we wouldn't be doing our due diligence if we built that software, that custom functionality on an ancient platform. So many times, more times often than not, we, move these stores over to a, a platform that can handle the volume, handle uh, the functionality. And at the end of the day, uh, just it's built for, for scalability. Yeah. So this is custom checkout. Let's nerd out here a little bit. You know, what's in the back end of this? Because a lot of our customers, I would say, don't ask these questions. So I want to explain how this works. So to be able to have any custom product 
uh, checkout on a product page on an e-commerce site. So you have to, there is one small functionality on these hosted cards that I mentioned, like Shopify, Big Commerce, Volusion, 3D Cart Miva, and that small functionality is called Allow Price Edit. So you might have a product that has 20 different options, and each option might have different pricing based on the quantity or the length or the width of the product. And it's impossible to create all the child product variations of this. So what we do is we use the small functionality in the API, which is called allow price edit. And this is what enables us to be able to do these custom functionalities because we can create any option and push through the API with allow price edit. And then you can check out and they will be listed as options. So in the back end, what we need to do, let's give an example. Let's say you're doing boxes, right? You're doing shipping boxes. This is one of our clients. It's echoenclose.com actually, if you want to go to the website and check it out. We'll also include a link here. And you have different sizes for these boxes and you have different options. And another thing you could do is you could brand these boxes. So if I am a customer of Echo and Close for Optimum 7, I want to get 100 branded shipping boxes. I can upload my logo. I can uh, size my logo any way I want. I can position it any way I want. So there are a lot of different options. And uh, when I go to checkout, I have one price, right? But this allow price edit allows us to add all these child products. And also at certain times, even track quantity. Let's say you're selling apparel. Let's say you're selling fabric and you only have 10,000 feet of fabric, right? So we can actually track that custom field or custom option with this type of functionality. Uh, what does this do for conversions, Joe? Obviously, you know, somebody like Echo and Close or, or another uh, gentleman that we worked with, Hurricane Shutters, they had literally hundreds, if not thousands of products before we built this function out. So what we're doing is we're taking thousands of combinations and child products and putting into one product page. How does that affect conversions? How does that affect operations? Oh, so for, for one, conversions, we see conversions skyrocket, especially from, from an e-commerce standpoint. Typically in the past, what we would see is a lot of drop-offs. We would see those drop-offs because clients were frustrated with the interface, you know, not understanding that, I guess the, the price options weren't transparent. And then a lot of them were requesting information. So now that goes into the operations aspect of this. Back then, if you didn't have this, your operation was a nightmare because you would have customers calling you constantly to find out how much this product would be once it's all said and done. So this took off a lot of pressure from your operation standpoint and your customer service by having this functionality kind of already provide them with all the information they need. Um, and at the same time, now add that added value of allowing them to now check out because they now have that price transparent. They know what it's going to cost from the moment that they order to, you know, it's delivered. Um, there's nothing up in the air. So where we see this a lot, especially with, with furniture. So like you said, kitchen cabinets, you have one model of kitchen cabinet. Now that one model comes in different sizes and dimensions that are completely custom. And at the same time, it'll come with different finishes or different countertops. So it's very difficult for a consumer to move through that entire process and purchase from you without knowing the price that it's good, they're going to have to pay at the end of the day. Yeah. So we actually know for a fact that Amazon is working on this as well. We believe that customized products in the next five to 10 years should be maybe 30, 35% of uh, what the online volume for these consumer products are. Apple is big into customizing. They added a lot of engraving options for most of the, their products now. So it's becoming, it's becoming more and more popular and Amazon will have add more customizable options now to their products. So if you have, and the best example I think we can give for this is Vistaprint. So if you want any kind, you know, the reason that Vistaprint is so popular is because they have an incredible UI and ordering process with confirmation. So this is what we mean, custom, dynamic ordering processes. If you are an apparel business, if you sell t-shirts, if you sell flooring, if for your t-shirts, if you want monogram options, if you want preview options, once somebody selects a certain option or they engrave their name, if you have any kind of adjustable and customizable product, it can be built on one of these platforms and it will skyrocket your conversions. 
That's it for this week. We'll talk to you next week. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel for more videos on marketing, e-commerce, custom development, and much more. Plus, new episodes of Surge, our weekly e-commerce and digital marketing podcast released every Wednesday.